world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all kinds of things these days. Um, okay, this is weird micarta-ish things I was making many years ago. Okay, um, remind me to show you the blue cheese knife I made for my wife with this stuff. Okay, um... Yeah, whatever. Resin with all manner of things in there. There's pieces of wood in green. And that's blue. This is a piece of thing made with matchsticks and green. Um, okay, so the two I chose now is this brown one. Brown with, I think, pieces of wood in there. But we see a few voids. And then this one with matchsticks. You can actually still see the sulfur or the whatever you call the stuff at the top of a matchstick. Okay. Now, I am going to stick these two together. And then that should be thick enough. Yeah, okay. Well, I sanded it, but it doesn't seem to match up perfectly. So I'm going to stick it together and match it up. And then I'm going to make a bead for two things. I'm going to make a bead for this thing we made, well, earlier today, but for you most likely whenever you see it. And then also I want to make one bead for uh, my quetch. Because that knife has got the biggest lanyard hole in the world and it feels like a waste if you do not have... Let me just show you again. This thing really impressed me. Like I said, little impulse buy, but look at that action. Oh, that's magical. Now look at that monstrous thing at the back. If you don't have a lanyard on it, it feels like you are wasting it. Anyway, so we are going to make lanyards for everything. Actually, now I have no idea how much of what I have here at this stage. Okay, but we'll see. We'll... <laughs> we'll do it like we do everything over here. By feeling and intuition alone. Okay. Um... mix this together and then I have like 3.2 seconds to use it otherwise it turns into a solid okay uh, let's take the small one and start packing that one with goodness oh no wait I wanted to actually color this before I did that I yeah, know this looks like off to a running start okay um, I use this normal I don't know child paint the stuff you mix with water anything dry seems to um, color epoxy pretty well so as long as it's something dry to start out with it colors epoxy pretty nicely yeah you see beautiful green looks like okay, now let's just blow off the excess here Did I say green? I meant yellow, ne? You all understood I meant yellow. I'm not one of those. Okay, so let's get all of this on here. Nice and yellow. If there's voids later on when we're making a bead, the bead is not really a very structural thing. It's hanging on the back of a lanyard. So we can always fill in gaps with whatever we feel like. And I'm most likely only going to cut out the good parts. Anyway, let's get our yellow on here. Because this is going to take a day anyway. So whenever you see this, this is definitely going to be a two-parter. Spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler. Okay, there we have that. Then we stick it on the brown. Press it down slightly, then press it down a lot, 
Oh, this stuff is eating my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to set and cure and whatnot. And then tomorrow we will cut it into pieces and do something. Actually, I'll wait for you and then I'll add it onto this video. So you can actually see this at once. I'm going to have to wait a day, but you will not have to do that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't know up to where we got last night. After I finished with this thing, I took some of the resin I was putting in this thing, put it on here, and then sanded it again. So it's got this lovely blue resin in there now. Okay. Um, this stuff, I think I showed you when I epoxied these two together, but then I also decided to epoxy it together again. Um, but yeah, like I said... Um, so then there was a big epoxy void in there. Anyway, so this morning I cut that off, um, drilled a hole, put one of these in there, and then I sanded down my bead. Okay, so this is what this thing ended up like. You can see the matchsticks in there and whatever. Now, some of these voids were where little pieces of wood flecked out, but I'm done. Um, okay, this marvelous thing, I'm not going to put a lanyard on here because I can feel it's going to be annoying me already. And for a knife that does not have a point, well, it does have that point, but that does not have a tip in the normal fashion, this thing has been working perfectly for everything. Okay, so let's make a lanyard. How are we going to do this now? And how on earth am I going to get this? Here, okay, one should be easy enough. Is my piece too short? Maybe, yeah. Let's see if I do it like this. Let's see if I take a longer piece. We have a longer piece now, okay? So I want it like that, then I want a knot. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Please, my little friend. <laughs> Perfect. Fantastic. How's that for a marvelous little pry bar? thingy okay so you can shove it in your pocket open boxes with this side open a beer do whatever people do with pry bars i will be leaving it right there so you can always look at this piece of awesomeness and stay safe happy and have a good one goodbye